Hi there and welcome back to Stellaris. The Empire of Nautilon's arrival, we want to make the galaxy safe again. Against all those mischievous empires around us, at the moment our means is science. Like the only thing we can do is <laughs> produce science and concentrate on improving ourselves to be able to beat either the wall or the dehuman hierarchy because that's the only options we can go up against. It's really a little bit of a shame, but that's how it is. In time, we won't need to worry anymore. Oh, our governor has leveled up. Basil Chaffin has leveled up and gained the trade environmental engineer. Well, that's not needed anymore, but still, it's good that you gained a trait. And we're definitely going forward in the technology sector. I mean, not that many are still superior to us in the technology level, at least that. Oh, the T-Human Hierarchy stopped guaranteeing the MOOC. Hmm. Maybe they will be attacking each other, and then we'll attack the T-Humans. But let's find out, how, find out how that works. I mean, a lot of the potential conflicts is questioning around what and who would be reachable. And we can only reach the T-Humans and the Wall at the moment. So we'll have to wait until the Republican Fung Friend regions have a conflict with the T-Humans or the Wall have a conflict maybe with the Lavis Forerunners or the Deary Cartel. Uh, the, the, the Stars of the Stars maybe even. And let's look at them. They are equivalent. Technology is superior. Ah, oh, they hate us because they are xenophiles and materialists and all that kind of scum thought. And we can now upgrade all of our power hubs, which will be a great thing. And we are working hard to get better research. <laughs> because we have no other option at the moment. Wow, look at the energy credits. They are basically exploding at the moment. How did that go? How did that come? Wow. What had happened? I mean, we need the fluid fleet templates, of course. Yeah, and the, the good thing about these technologies at the moment is every little thing is bringing us forward a lot. Space Roach Kingdom wishes to declare war against the T-Human Hierarchy. Will we do that? Let's see. Ha, huh, they have a defensive pact with the wall and the Suebi colonies. Hmm. And the wall. They are superior, but not in fleet power, thankfully. 
I mean, the space roaches should be able to easily beat the T human hierarchy. Because they have such a big fleet power, it's just incredible. Let's see where it is. Where is your fleet? Yeah, here. I mean, <laughs> it's just incredible. And we should probably do it. But we have, we have still a lot of time, which we should use. 2, 3, 18, 1, 12. Um, yeah, we should build two more battleships then. And maybe some corvettes, I don't know. Let's look at the ship designer. Quantum missiles, torpedo boat. Regenerative hull tissue would be nice. Uh, duck snail class could get also the hull tissue. The Gador class. Yeah, I mean. Hmm. Could we maybe get, get better, <coughs> double the shield capacitors? Yeah, that would be nice, probably. Give them double these things. And better sensors, too. Gador, duck snail. Oh, need some power here. That's unfortunate. Hmm, that's really bad. Maybe they can live with less good sensors? Nah, I already know the answer. No, they can't. Ah, uh, hmm. Less shields. And now? Armor. Or an afterburner, let's see. Can we afford an afterburner? Yeah. Shell class, can they do something else here? Senders are okay. We'll upgrade these ships. On Tisalem Prime. And we hope it will be good enough. <laughs> Oh, but we'll only do this in the last seconds. Like on 2, 3, 18, 1, 12. We'll say yes. Rahul Sondaram has leveled up. Very nice. Neptulus has finished the surface construction. Nice as well. Because we need a lot of energy credits for the war. <laughs> That's going to be a lot that we need for the war. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, don't don't hurry up, my holy roach and friends. We need to upgrade still. I mean, we have seven battleships. Can we upgrade? Should we upgrade the battleships as well? Let's see. No, they are at already at the best uh, they can. So that would be good. There's so much over our fleet capacity, but that will change too. 
Hey guys, what's going on here? Why is this kind of hanging? Ah, it's not hanging anymore now. Strange, strange things are happening there, I tell you. Hmm. This is going to be hard against the wall. Forty-six days left, yeah. There's still time. When will you be finished? Ah, we have completed the research of Doctrine Fluid Fleet Templates. Gradual adaptation to the realities of Deep Space Combat allows us to effectively coordinate larger maneuvers. Ha 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 ha. And we have precognitive interface now. A gift from Nautilon. Creating combat computers capable of reading and analyzing the impulses of telepathic operatives before they are cognitively processed. That will be truly great. And it is a gift from Nautilon. So we'll go for the precognition interface. Whoa ho ho. Yeah, also we have to say yes to them or they will stop um they will stop the Federation with us, I guess. <laughs> So with this, I would say thank you for watching, happy gaming to you, and in the next episode we'll go for that war declaration. Happy gaming to you, and see you in a galactic super war next time. Hmm. How long will it be until we have our fleet? 24 days. That should be enough. So we're safe, right? Right? Are we safe? Let's make the galaxy safe again. <laughs>